hands get a little bit moist and the gloves don't go on with a flip. You're gonna title this video, Retarded Brother Puts On Gloves. He's never done this before. So today my brother had a crazy idea to try and anodize some aluminum ourselves. What'd you do with the acid? So we've got some, what kind of acid is this? Uh, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. We've got a container to do it all in, a voltage meter, a piece of aluminum, and a, a container, which I think I already said. We're going to use a battery charger like this to be our power supply. But uh, right now we're running to the store to get some distilled water as well as a couple other things. We're gonna use clothing dye and see how well that works. So stay tuned and let's see how this works. All right, we got some clothing dye. We got some baking soda to uh, neutralize any acid mishaps. We got some distilled water. It's not just, well, what is it used for? It, you use it for rinsing off the parts and for diluting your acid and for boiling your part in the end to seal it. So everything you would typically use water for, you use distilled water for. You need to, the, to lie, the lye is another acidic thing, but it's not as strong of an acid and it could I guess that's for things that actually need more cleaning and also for removing previous anodization. Okay. So do you need to wash these parts in a different container? Yeah, I was gonna go ahead and mix up the acid in here. Okay. Just tell the camera what you're doing. Tell what you the doing? camera what I'm doing? Yeah, just you know, exactly like you'd explain to me how Alright. <laughs> Not really into this whole YouTubing thing. All right, so you gotta add about a 15% acid concentration for your sulfuric acid bath that you soak the pieces in to anodize it. And we got battery acid here for our sulfuric acid. So that is about 35% and we need 15 to 20%. So we're gonna start by mixing that 50-50 with water. Should we be wearing like safety glasses or something? Probably. No. All right, I'm cleaning off the part here to try and get rid of any uh, contamination or big obvious debris that might be in the way. This is fairly unscientific. This is a piece of filler rod for welding aluminum. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half and just thread it right in. There's a threaded a female thread right there that I'll be able to thread this onto and hopefully it holds it nice and well enough to get good contact for this experiment. 50 battery acid water mix should be right around 17% sulfuric acid. More light. Dad, gum it. I gotta clean this off again. All right, now we're good. This is all nice and snugged up here. This is gonna be our anode, and this is our part. Negative on the cathode, maybe. Yep, that'll do. All right, and then this goes over here. Where's that tiny piece? All right, that's the anode. All right, so when we fire this thing so up, let's put that on two amp right there. When we plug this in, oh, it's been a little bit. It should bubble some as the electricity starts to go through it and it warms up. We should just have to let this go for about 20 minutes. All go right. ahead. Are you ready to plug it in? Yep. All right, plug it in. Exciting. Yeah, well nothing, nothing bad happened, so that's good. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is bubbling. All right, so how long are we gonna run for? Uh. I've read online anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. So we'll just play it safe and go longer. All right, so we'll be back in an hour to let you guys know how it goes. Now for mixing up the dye. We, did, we just take the dye here, mix it with some water. We should be good to go. So we're rinsing off our stir stick for the dye because we want to make sure to keep everything that's going to be involved in this process as clean as possible to keep any impurities from screwing up the process. Um, rinse it off. It's a lot of dye. It is a lot of dye. And we got it in a jar because it's all reusable. So if we decide to do this again, 
we don't have to buy more dye. We can just reuse that. I think the right, let's check and see what uh, kind of voltages we're getting here. What are we shooting for? Uh, 12 volts is what we have now. We're at 11, basically. Hmm. wonder how that'll affect our results. This isn't big enough it's probably good enough to not matter. All right, so now what are we going to do? All right, we're going to unplug the power supply, take out the piece that we're anodizing, rinse it off with some distilled water, stick it in our dye for anywhere between 1 and 15 minutes, depending on the color that we want. This is our first time. I figure we'll just shoot for a happy medium of around 6 or 7 minutes. And then we're going to take it inside and stick it in some boiling water for another 20 minutes or so to seal the whole thing. And then we will have successfully anodized our very first part. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright. Alright, now into the dye. Yes, we can. Oh, that's, that's not enough. Alright. Alright, so it's totally submerged now. Alright, go ahead and pull it out. Get out of the way. Alrighty. Uh, stick it in here, let it go for 20 minutes, and then be at a roaring boil by that point, hopefully. All right, so we got another one going. That one didn't turn out very well. I don't know why, maybe just because we're amateurs, but we got another one of just a piece of aluminum, not any fancy bit. And uh, there's our anode and our cathode. cathode. So we're going to give this one a shot. And we'll let you guys know. We're going to do the same things, dip it in the the dye, then boil it. So we're gonna skip all that stuff and jump straight to the end. There it is. Much better. That is post sealing. Not completely post sealing. I pulled it out earlier to look at it. But still, would you call it a success? Yes. Success. Round two was a win. So now we just let it sit there for a few minutes. How many minutes? I think up to 20. Up to 20 minutes to seal it. What was the total investment in this? 20 bucks for everything? Probably somewhere around there. So that's how you anodize stuff at home.